that third row. Noriyuki Haga, Sam Cork, Stuart Easton and Craig Coxall. Lots of people to talk about. Row four there, Stuart Easton. Oh, dear me. We've got a bike fire. Two bikes have collided out on the racetrack while I was talking over the graphics there. And I'm trying to look and see who that is. It looked like 61 to me. 61 is Adam Hitchcock. Let's have another look at this now. I mean, I've got Aaron Slight in here with me. I think somebody just punched. This is always a bit of a situation. Oh, dear me. He tripped over the back of one rider and was smacked into at the back of the other rider. And uh, that was a horrendous situation. I think both riders are up. 61, it's certainly Adam Hitchcock. Well, we are one. obviously going to have a delay from the start here at this moment in time because that is a situation that you always get in cars where they're on and off the throttle. <laughs> That is a fairly rare incident in motorcycles, it has to be said, but uh, a horrendous one there. Yeah, very rare, and it's probably because, yeah, these days you're starting with a, a very, very fuel, full fuel tank, and with the carbon fibre, sometimes you can just hit the ground and it'll just split instantly and then uh, spread, a, spread a flame like that. With the old alloy tanks, you know, they take a bit more of a beating. A chance to digest it now, there it is. We see them at the back there, and someone would clip someone else just coming over the last hump there coming down to lodge but it's so unusual for a bike to catch fire and burst into flames like that the potential is always there but it very rarely happens you just see Haga. It. that's oh, Haga that's just, Haga just going through number 41 there but I think this bike closest to us is, is the Ducati of 